Hello, Rang. So uh, now we have a look on Fortinet SD WAN integration with Zscaler. So, you know, what we have done is like we have integrated the Fortinet SD WAN fabric with Zscaler. You can see here we have these overlays, uh, Zscaler overlay with primary data center that is uh, nearest to my location. So I have selected Delhi data center. And then you have another, uh, you know, fallback data center that is in Mumbai, right? So what we have done, uh, we have created two tunnels, you know, from uh, each ISP link towards the these killer data center, right? So we are doing load balancing here. So if you see the SD WAN rules, so here you will see that uh, you know this is the rule which is taking hit, right? If something goes wrong with the these killer data center, these two tunnel interfaces will go down, and then automatically traffic will fall back to the Backup data center that is Mumbai location, right? And you will be able to see the hit counts here, right? So if you also check the performance SLAs, you will be able to see, right? Uh, this is the primary data center. So we are checking the performance SLA through primary data center, and then this is the secondary data center where we are checking the performance SLA. If I will walk you through the diagram, so this is how it is, right? So this is our 40 gate SD WAN where we have two IS killings, band one, band two. And we have built the tunnels, four tunnels from, uh, you know, with these killer Zen nodes. So two tunnels with each Zen node, right? Because we need to do the load sharing, right? On the links, we need to run these tunnels in active active mode. So at present, uh, these blue tunnels, they are carrying the data from WAN1 and WAN2 towards the Delhi uh, Z scalar node. And from there, it breaks out to uh, internet, right? Google, Yahoo, Facebook. Twitter. So from my machine traffic is going to hit the uh, 48 SD WAN router. From there, it will be load balance based on per connection. So per connection uh, load balancing we are using. So it will first go to, you know, first connection will use this tunnel. Next connection will use this particular tunnel, right? If something goes wrong with Zscaler Delhi data center, then automatically, you know, these red tunnels will become active and SD WAN device will start forwarding your traffic towards the Mumbai or data center. And from there, it will start breaking out to internet. So, this is the failback scenario for these killer data center. If any ISP link goes down, then, you know, you have the other, another ISP available. So, entire traffic will start flowing through that, right? So, this is the arrangement which gives you best performance. Uh, whenever we have discussion regarding Fortinet SD WAN integration with Zscaler or any other SD WAN solution integration with the SSE solutions, right? So, what uh, you know, uh, architecture we should follow to optimize the bandwidth, right? So, here you can see that uh, you know, I have created the SD WAN rules in a way that uh, primarily all the traffic will be breaking out through this, right? And load balancing is going on, right? If I will open it up, you will see that I'm using maximized bandwidth. Now, in maximized bandwidth, it's like uh, load balancing is done uh, between these tunnels, right? And if I will show you the VPN configuration here, you will see that uh, these are the four different tunnels which are up by using different different ISP interfaces, right? So this is the tunnel we have built via WAN one towards Delhi data center, and this is another tunnel which we have built with Delhi data center, but this time my interface is WAN2. Similarly, this tunnel is with uh, Mumbai data center from ISP1, and this is with, uh, you know, Mumbai data center with ISP2, right? So this is how, you know, we have built four different tunnels. If I will show you my interface configuration here as well, you can see WAN1 is having uh, two interfaces, tunnel interfaces. Similarly, your WAN2 is having two interfaces, primary 0, 01, secondary 0, 01, primary 0, 02, secondary 0. This is how we have built four tunnels. Now, to verify whether load balancing is happening or not, what you can do is, uh, you know, you can also first check this uh, particular thing, right? You can see that uh, you know, both the tunnels, they are carrying the data. You see the secondary overlay. So, this will only carry data in case of uh, failover, right? So these are the few statistics which you are able to see for polling and all that stuff. But right now, uh, majorly your traffic is carried through these uh, daily data center, right? So now to verify this, uh, if you go to ip.zscaler.com, 
Here you can see that my traffic is breaking out through New Delhi data center, right? And if I go to my connection quality, it will show me my ISP links. So right now it is showing me my ISP link. Uh, that is giving me this breakout from Lucknow, right? So it is showing me this moment. I will refresh it is going to change my location, right? So let's refresh again. And now you can see I'm getting a different IP, right? Uh, because this is the different ISP link and you can see on graph as well. My location has changed. It depends on your ISP links, you know how they have given you the internet breakout because your location is determined based on your uh, public IP, which you get from the uh, ISP, right? When you break out over internet. So, you know, if I start the speed test here, right? You will also see uh, results here, right? If I will refresh, you will see that uh, we will have more MBPS, right? Download up. Okay. The secondary will be still in KBPS. The moment you started flowing data through it, so this is carrying more data. Similarly, if I will refresh again, this time it will switch to another ISP link. Let's refresh. Again, it should be. Yeah. So now it is breaking out via another ISP link. Start the speed test. And you can see we are getting different speed there, right? So this is the uh, you know good thing with the working yeah. at SD-WAN and Zscaler that uh, you know you can run these tunnels in active active fashion. Okay. So if you refresh, here you will be able to see. Right, you can see your upload and download, and this is the backup. So the moment the Delhi data center will fail. Automatically, my traffic will switch over to Mumbai data center and it will be done in active active. Right here, you can see the scalar primary tunnel, the scalar primary second tunnel, both are carrying the data. Right, you can see download speed, see the uploads. Okay, so this is the best part, right? You can run your tunnels in active active mode and you can do the uh, load sharing. And this is how you know you get the opportunity to. Uh, you know, use your bandwidth optimistically, right? And another thing is like you can create the rules based on uh, application and you can bypass it. You know, let's take an example. Uh, mostly traffic is going through the Z scaler, but for these uh, two, uh, you know, FQD and I have given a direct breakout via underlays, right? And similarly for these applications, I have given direct local breakout, right? These are not going via Z scaler. And then rest of this uh, traffic is going via underlay only local internet breakout for this different subnet. So this subnet is different. This subnet is different, right? So this is how you can play with your uh, packet routing and you can optim, you know, uh, optimistically use your bandwidth. So this is how it works. You can see underlay SLA overlay SLAs, right? And accordingly, you can build your SD WAN rules and you can play with the graph, right? And this is your SD WAN zone. You can see here underlay, overlay. Okay. This is for Z scalar. Now, in upcoming uh, videos, you will also see that we will build our uh, fabric with another location, right? So, private to private communication from branch to data center will be taken care by SD WAN fabric. But uh, from branch to internet and SaaS applications will be handled to Z scaler. So we will send traffic towards the Z scaler. From there, it will securely break out to internet. Few applications we will bypass from Z scaler. Right? This is going to be our uh, final target SaaS architecture. Right? So you know these days, single OEM SaaS architecture, I mean SaaS solutions are also gaining market. But uh, you know, mostly customers they will be doing uh, you know. Customized, I mean, they will be using customized solutions, right? They will be stitching two different OEM solutions together to get the better performance and to optimize the commercials as well, right? So, this is the strategy mostly customers uh, they go with. So, you will see such uh, cases where you will be integrating Cisco SD WAN with Z scaler, Cisco SD WAN with NetScope, uh, Fortinet SD WAN with Z scaler, Fortinet SD WAN with NetScope, uh, you know, Cisco with uh, uh, Prisma Access, or you will see Silver Peak with Z scaler. So multiple combinations are there, right? Which you will be seeing in the industry. 
and uh, the best way is like how uh, 